Hi everybody and welcome back to Who Did It Best. So on Who Did It Best we go to three different cities to try three different versions of our favorite foods. On today's episode we're having wings. Yes. We are starting with some beautiful duck wings then we're going to be eating Vietnamese Cajun wings Yum. and we are finishing off with seafood stuffed wings. I am so excited. I cannot wait. Let's, Let's go, go eat. eat. We're starting this epic journey in Chicago for some very untraditional wings. We're visiting chef owner Kevin Hickey from Duck Inn to tell us about his famous duck wings. So tell us about the dish we're having today, duck wings. Just kind of sure. run us through what we're in for. So we take these little duck wing drumettes, we uh, grill them from okay. raw, we get a nice smoky char on them, and then we submerge them in duck fat, cook them in the oven, called confit. We cook them slow in fat and then chill them down. And then when somebody orders them, we toss them in cornstarch, drop them in the deep fryer, get them nice and crispy. And then we have a really simple Japanese barbecue sauce that's just made from three or four kinds of uh, fresh peppers and chilies, garlic, ginger, a little soy, blend that up and toss them in that little uh, crunchy rice and shaved uh, radishes and cilantro on top. They're, they're really awesome. I'm absolutely salivating. I just watched this food get cooked. These are the duck fat fries. They look so good. These are the wings. Oh my, my gosh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with the fries and see how those go. They look nice and crunchy. Oh my gosh. Wow. They're very crunchy. It's so soft on the inside. Super crunchy, pillowy soft on the inside. Mm. It's fried with duck fat from their ducks. That's why it's so good. <laughs> which is so amazing. And it's just salt and pepper after that. These don't need ketchup. They don't need anything else. These are perfection. Mm, these are maybe the best fries I've ever had. That's what I was just oh. thinking. Seriously, these are so good. We're not here for fries though. As good as these are, I can eat like 10 of them. We are here for duck wings. So I wanna let's show these off. Look at this. There's little poppies on it. Some seasoning on here. You ready to just jump in? Nope, oh, I lost a radish. Yeah, cheers. Oh my god. Just falls apart. Wow. It's literally mm. just falling off the bone. Look. The seasoning on here. Just look at this right here. Absolutely cleaned it. Wow. So incredible. So I don't know how they do it with these textures. It's like crunchy on the mm. outside. Again, the meat on the inside is so soft. Mm -hmm. And then the textures that they put on the outside of this, holy cow, that seasoning, that barbecue that they I have? I know. What? So it's a Japanese barbecue. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of the barbecue, but mostly it's just this rich, rich, beautiful duck flavor. Very crunchy. I get a little bit of the smoke. Oh my God. I think these are ruining me. I don't ever want regular wings again. Like duck wings. I don't know what that is duck on, the, on the outside either. It says like Japanese pearls. I'm not sure what that is, but it gives it a great extra piece of texture. Mm -hmm. What an interesting dish. I didn't know what to expect. I knew we were coming to have duck wings, but I had no idea what to expect. But these are incredible. Oh my wow. goodness. These are killer. These are absolutely outstanding. Never had a duck wing before. I don't know if I'll ever find another one but I'm gonna remember these for a long time. Me too. <laughs> just the tanginess, smokiness, crunchiness, just that really rich. It's rich, mm -hmm. it's so amazing. Layers of surprises that unfold mm. in your mouth. I love chicken wings, but I think I like duck wings better. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> they just are a whole different, beautiful thing. So good. Our second stop is beautiful New Orleans. We love New Orleans, but this time we're not here for the jazz. We're here for Viet Cajun Wings. We're meeting Chef Paul at MoFo for more info on the dish. We're having wings today, um, and we have three different sauces that go with our wings. Um, we have a uh, yellow curry sauce. In terms of spice, it's kind of lighter, lighter side of spice. Uh, then we go to the other side of the spice spectrum with our vindaloo sauce. It's based on a South Indian uh, curry. And then finally, our, our most popular uh, sauce, been on the menu since day one, is our uh, knock mom caramel, or fish sauce caramel. So it's got that salty, sweet, spicy combination going on. And uh, that's that's the sauce that people really, really uh, enjoy. That sounds great. Let's eat. <laughs> so these are the most traditional wings that we're gonna eat on this, and they are far from traditional. <laughs> so this is a yellow curry wing. 
This is a spicy vindaloo, which is also an Indian type sauce. And then we have a caramel wing over here. And then we've got the regular wing with queso. Yep. We are going to start with this yellow curry wing and I could not be more excited here. So this has um, like a lemongrass ginger cooked into that masala and then there's some nice spicy on top mm. of there. You ready? Yes, I am. Mm. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. The flavors are outstanding. Mm. Mm. Wow. This is by far the creamiest wing I think I've ever had. It is so creamy. It's got nice spice. It's a very, very thick sauce, so it really coats it well. It but for being so thick and kind of wet, it's still very nice and crunchy. It's still very meaty, too. Yeah, and this, the chicken is so tender. This is an absolutely phenomenal wing. I could eat these all day, but we have a lot more. Which one do you want to do next? Mmm, so good. I really want to get it on this queso okay, next. Okay, let's do it. This is like a white queso, and it has, on top of it, cilantro, grilled onions, some Thai chili peppers, some... I'm using a fork. Some green chilies. It's got everything. Okay, I'm dipping. See, that's why I want a fork, so I can get all this extra. I'm gonna roll it in the freshness. Ooh. Okay. Look at that bite. Yum. All right, cheers. cheers. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. That is intense queso. That queso could win a queso video easily. We're not even Definitely. here for that. The crunchiness of the wing, again, it's just got that little bit of salty, but the queso is the star with this one. The combination of those two, though, is so crazy because it's tender and crunchy. It's got all those onions and those other flavors that mix in there. Can you taste the actual red pepper in there, that Thai red pepper? I do. So the Thai red pepper is, seems subtle in the beginning and kind of the queso makes it a little bit subtle, but it's Thai red pepper. So of course that heat is coming on. Yeah. But it's so creamy. I wanted to taste it just by itself. And that's why I just took a bite of it with a fork. Mm. This is so, so thick. I would eat this with a spoon. Probably not what you're supposed to do with queso, but I would do it with this. I am ready now for the caramel. This okay. is normally my absolute favorite. So look at that, just dripping in sauce, covered in cilantro, a little bit sticky, which is perfect. A little bit Let's of ginger go. on top of there. Mm. Mm. Heck yeah. That wow. ginger was the first thing I tasted. So that burst of like freshness, but it also with the cilantro and then the, again, the crunchy, mm -hmm. crunchy chicken. That caramel sauce has this sweetness to it. It reminds me a little bit of like plum or cherry almost. It's like a reduced cherry caramel sauce, even though I know it's just a straight caramel, but it really has a little fruity note. They put a lot of detail into their sauces mm. and they couldn't tell us all their secrets, so we did not get Maybe this it one does being have made. a little bit of uh, <laughs> cherry or plum. Yes. Either way, it is absolutely phenomenal. That is a really, really good sauce. It definitely is. One more to go. We're Indian food freaks. Yeah. We love it. And so, uh, I don't care. So, I'm really excited to try this Vindaloo. Vindaloo curry is one of my favorite curries in the world. So, uh, let's see Cheers. how it tastes on a wing. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I got it dripping down me. So I thought it would be more spicy. I really love spicy, but I enjoy that it's not over the top because you get all of the flavor. This has a little bit of a tang to it too. Uh -huh. What are some of the things that you're tasting in there? So it's spicy. Good. It's spicier. Let it let it linger for a little bit. Let it get to the back of your throat. Is it coming? Got, <laughs> mm -hmm. got a little bit of that kind of cayenne style heat where it kind of gets you right in the back. Mm. But it really is absolutely amazing. This sauce is actually a little bit similar to the caramel sauce. Just more spicy. The difference thicker. is it's got a little bit more tomato-y flavor to it, and it's got more heat, but also absolutely delicious. I mean, these wings, traditional, <laughs> sort of, but the flavors that they have here are just off the chain. Our last stop is Houston for some stuffed wings. 
The process is top secret, so let's jump right into eating these amazing wings at the Stuffed Food Truck. I could not be more excited about these wings. When I heard about Stuffed Wings, I was like, no brainer, but I had no idea how huge these things would be. Yeah, they're massive. This is absolutely insane. Cheers. We got seafood stuffed boudin wings. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mm. So good. That is insane. Wow. These are nuts. There is so much flavor. This batter, this rice is so moist and delicious. You really taste the seafood. Yeah. You really taste the chicken. It has so much flavor, but it's not like a mushy rice. Let's try this sauce. It's a little sweet, sour secret sauce. So the crunch on this, I was asking them how they got it so crunchy. Said it's a secret, but oh the secret happened by accident. Wow. So these are award-winning wings. I can see why. Absolutely. The flavors here, crunchy, soft, tender. Nice seafood. Got this really seasoned batter. You get the taste of that seafood. Mm. The seasoning from that rice. I mean, all around a winner. This is crazy good. One thing that's nuts about it, including the hot sauce, when you take a bite, that first bite, you almost think it's gonna be super spicy because there's so much flavor, but it's not really spicy. It's just crazy flavor overload. I understand why they won Houston Best Food Truck 2020. Like, no kidding. There's no, no comp, I mean, how do you compete with this? I don't know. I mean, like, everything about it is amazing, but what I cannot get over and the thing that's like the star of the show for me here is the batter. Mm -hmm. This is the best batter I think I've ever had on any chicken. Like the flavor that it adds definitely is crazy. And I did not expect that because the star is supposed to be what it's stuffed with. Really, really inventive, really creative, and really, really good. Every element goes so well together. All right, guys, that is it for the wings video. We traveled a lot of miles to eat some really incredible wings. So what's your favorite? That's a hard one because Stuffed was so inventive and the flavors were so amazing. I can't believe I'm not picking them, but I'm not. It really came down to the other two for me. Um, Mofo, it just is more of a traditional wing. It's something that I would eat anytime I'm watching a game. I feel like I could eat that on a regular basis. But what it really came down to for me is the most flavorful wing was that duck wing. Oh, so yeah. that's my winner. Oh my gosh. So the same with me. Those duck wings were so juicy and delicious. Oh, so good. Every single bite, the consistency all of the way through, they were so good. So if you're in any of these cities, try them. You will thank us, I promise you, because they're so good. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications.